Well, Russia is closely monitoring the radiation on its territory closest to Japan. Moscow also says it's ready to help Tokyo, with Russia having vast experience in dealing with both natural and man-made disasters. Well, Artis Natalia Novikova now joins us live from the capital for more. Natalia, can you just tell us at this point, what can Russia do to help Japan? Prime Minister Putin has said that Russia is ready to send fuel and double gas supplies to Japan. Of course, energy is very much needed in the shattered country right now, as it has lost a lot of its resources. Electricity is down in many parts of Japan as well. 14 units of hardware, including seven jets, are ready to fly to Japan together with 200 doctors and rescuers. Russia is among 45 nations worldwide uh, on standby to send its help to Japan. However, so far, Japan has accepted help from six countries only, and those are United States, Great Britain, Germany, New Zealand, Australia, and South Korea. Meanwhile, here in the Russian capital, people are bringing flowers to the Japanese embassy, laying them by the embassy's walls, and the country's authorities are, of course, looking eastwards as well. We need to continue monitoring the situation in the Russian Far East as closely as possible. I've just talked to the local authorities in the region. The situation there is normal, both from the point of view of people's housing and radioactivity. Nevertheless, the situation must be closely monitored on a round-the-clock basis. Well, of course, Russia's Far East lies just a few hundred kilometers over the seat from northern Japan. Well, what's the situation like over there? Well, right now, the radiation level at Russia's Far East is normal, and the country's Atomic Energy Agency has assured that there is no danger for Russia in this. In the worst-case scenario of emission of radioactive particles, they are not going to reach Russia's shores. One of the reasons for that is because the air flows around the globe move from west to east and from north to south. So if you look at the map, in the worst-case scenario, they are going to be carried into the Pacific Ocean. But having said that Russia does unfortunately have a very sad experience of dealing with uh, the consequences of a nuclear disaster in Chernobyl back in 1986. So perhaps that experience could be of use to Japan. Okay, well, thank you very much for that update. Artis Natalia Novikova reporting from Moscow.